How to implement the unit of work pattern with entity framework. Unit of work is typically used together with repository pattern. How to do this the wrong way. DB context.save changes is typically used to commit changes that are being tracked to the database. This would be for commands such as add, update, delete. This is generally an expensive operation. So one has to be tactical about where to call save changes. It is not best to call save changes directly in the repository. The quick explanation is that there might be still work to be done, yet the call is already being made. Other methods would also need to make their own expensive calls. So a better implementation is to have the unit of work be in charge of the repository and save changes is called via the commit method in the unit of work. All interactions are done via the unit of work instead of the repository. In a high level service that needs some kind of database access, a command that adds a new record goes through the unit of work. It is important to note that at this stage, the new entity is only being tracked and not yet committed, therefore not yet inserted to the database. We can continue doing all other entity framework work and only when the commit is called, then the unit of work or all changes that entity framework has been tracking are committed.